Jeff, yeah, Jeff or Mr. <laughs> Mr. Tuvi, but uh, Tuvi's not good. No wonder our kids have got no manners, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling good. No, it's all, it's all great. Um, we, we trained this morning. It was good. Um, the boys will have a day off tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, look, I think they're all excited. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I'll be, be captain's run at some stage, yes. So, yeah, another bad. What's the chance of him playing? Uh, yeah, look, he's, he's in the mix, but it'd be highly unlikely. Um, you know, he's had 20 weeks off, uh, major surgery, um, Achilles comeback. But um, you know, he, he trained hard this week to, to try and prove himself. And um, again, we'll have to. He's, he's in the mix, but it'd be a long shot. When will we make the final call on that? Oh, probably um, five to when we play. <laughs> no, like I said, he'll, he'll be in the mix, but we won't know till later. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough question. I'm not a psychologist, but um, <laughs> look. At the end of the day, look at the end of the day. Um, they have beaten us. You're right. Um, they're um, they're a quality side um, and very very good defensively, as we've seen over the last um, few months. Um, but it, but. But grand final, we need to work hard to make sure that we, that luck comes our way and the bounce of the ball works for us. What did you learn from uh, week one for the finals, Jeff? Um, I suppose, again, just like I mentioned, you've got to work hard for that luck to bounce the ball. And unfortunately for us in that game, uh, the bounce of the ball went their way. They, you know, they scored that try, it was 4 0. They scored that try, it was a great kick and a great chase. And they grounded the ball, I think, uh, an inch from the, um, from the dead ball. We had a couple of opportunities and we, we didn't take our opportunities. So we, we need to make sure that we do take those opportunities when they present themselves because there won't be too many. Jeff, last time you weren't able to score, you're a great attacking side. Obviously, you've been working on how to break that defence down a little bit. For this one. Uh, I'd like to think so, but I think even um, uh, Trent Robinson said uh, last night on the show that um, you can't change too much this, this time of year. Um, you, just, you just have to do what you do, what you do better, and I think that's what we need to work on. We need to find that extra, uh, you know, um, bit of pace or that extra bit of strength to stop them from scoring, or alternatively get us across the line. Uh, no, there's, there's always nerves, but I think we've been really um, uh, successful in uh, containing them this week. Um, you know, they, they'll build, um, get it coming close to the game. Um, but I think it's more excitement than, than nerves at the moment. So we're very excited. Jamie, the last time there was no Brett Stewart um, on the team. Is that a lot of pressure on him now to maybe that, be that person to break the demo? No, not really. I, <clears throat> I don't think he'll be um, too worried about that, the pressure on him. but. You know, he's, he's been around for, for a while now and played some top quality games. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's looking forward to the challenge against the Roosters. Jamie, is this side better than two years ago? Is this side improved from the grand final a couple of years ago? Yeah, I'm not sure. You, you can't really gauge, I don't think. And there's obviously different players in the side now to what there was then. Um, you know, um, even Roosters going back a few years ago, they got a, f a few new faces. I think they're definitely a stronger side than they were in 2010. So, you know, I don't really, we I mean, can't really gauge them, I don't think. Jamie, how big an impact has the performances in the final series been? Because I think on the outside, it surprised a lot of people who perhaps didn't expect to be able to get to the grand final. Those performances were pretty gutsy. Yeah, I, I guess they were gutsy. Um, you know, you train all year to, to play in the big games and. Uh, I know that was, you know, the goal that, the, well, one of the goals we had at the club. We we want to get deep into the semis and get around the grand final. So, um, yeah, hopefully we play our best on Sunday and um, everyone's fighting fit. David, how much is uh, missing the driving you for Sunday? Um, I think it was more, more the fact of missing having a dodgy season the year after as well. Um, but yeah, seeing seeing the boys. Um, win in 11 and knowing you weren't out there to help them um, certainly is a driving force but I think this year alone is enough for me the way I've been playing and and uh, put my best foot forward both on and off the, on and off the park. David you've had some unusual changes to your preparation this year in terms of walkthrough diet. Do you think that really helped you in prep for Sunday? 100 percent I mean it's helped me throughout week in week out all year. Um, I think the proof's in the pudding in regards to that I've pretty much doubled my average games for a year and that was in the regular season alone. So 
Um, I won't be changing anything as far as that regard, but um, yeah, just looking forward to Sunday and keep it on the track. Pardon? I think I'll be eating worse than a steak on Monday. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, you'd be silly not to. You know, there's a lot of experience in this side um, in finals football and representative football. So uh, it keeps the atmosphere pretty level-headed. And um, you know, if I ever need some advice on how to go about things, there's no shortage in this team. Brenton, you grew up in South Australia. Do you mm -hmm. think there'll be it's an AFL-dominated yep. stable? Many people be tuning in. I don't know about many, but there'll be a couple. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of. My mum's family's still there and uh, a few school friends and things. So uh, there's been a lot of support on social media and things from people that I grew up with and it's been really great. Um, yeah. Have you found your time in rugby league? Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this year especially, it's been a dream. Um, coming from Adelaide and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it and trying to drag it out as long as I can. Tom, how's your week been living in Bondi? Yeah, it's, um, it's been a bit different in, in, behind enemy lines, so to speak, but um, certainly been over here uh, for every, every day with the boys and uh, trying to enjoy it as much as I can. Have you sent a few text messages to the old teammates? Nah, trying to uh, just stick to um, the teammates for now and let all that sort of stuff just look after itself and see what happens after the game. It's always an extra kick to play against your old side, let alone in the grand final. Tom, pretty special? Yeah, certainly. Um, yeah, you know, everyone likes going up against our old team, but um, saying that, we've done that a few times already this year. So um, I guess no matter who I was playing against uh, in the grand final, it's, it's something I'm going to be pretty excited about. So um, yeah, it's no different uh, Sunday uh, for playing against anyone. It's um, definitely um, something to look, look, look forward to. Are you surprised how important this has done this year? No. Jeffy, you to won't change uh, their game plan, I don't think, so it won't change ours. No, look, uh, whoever they put up, we, we want to play the best team possible, so if they play, that'd be fantastic, um, um, and we'll, we'll deal with it. Jeff, you got any plans for yourself in the box to stay calm in this grand final? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> look, as I said out there, I, I'd hate to... I'd hate to try and uh, mask um, uh, the feelings and passion for the game and the players. Um, so, look, uh, it'll be... Same, same, same old, same old. Jamie, you, you were asked up on stage. I don't know if you ever got around your answer on that, but what Jeff has brought to the team? Because we see him as the angry little man in the, in the box, but yeah, no, I think people say he's a much more relaxed person. Yeah, he is. I, I think you know, sometimes the coaches come across like that, but um, you know, certainly not the case. We all get on well here, and, and Jeff you know, feels like one of the boys. And you know, I, I think it's great the way he... Um, Shows his passion up there in the box. I think it's good for the game, and I think there's a few people out there laughing, so it can't be too bad. And yeah, we, we certainly love it. Do you feel more people are cheering for Manly than using? Like people have jumped on board. For us? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, there's plenty of flags around over on the peninsula anyway on the cars. So yeah, we've we've got a great support base, you know, over over the over the bridge, and um, we think they're pretty passionate as well. So yeah, we enjoy it. No. Happy with the selection? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know on, on Sunday after the game. James, there was no Kieran last time. Uh, second time you guys played with him, no Brett uh, last time. So I think you come from the Roosters haven't seen the best that you guys <coughs> Oh, I'm not sure about that. Um, obviously, we want our best players on the field. And, um, you know, we've still got a couple of injuries there. Jason King's been out for quite a, quite a while, Richie Fayo, so... And, Maybe Joe Nullivar. So we, we've got a couple of guys who've missed some games over the years, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. The, the guys that are, will be there on the on the day will be um, pretty excited anyway. Do you have the choice between David Gower and James Hesson, but you may all have Ah, yeah, probably will be. Yeah. Jamie, I'm wondering, like a few weeks ago, when Jeff had a little bit to say about the referees after a game, the players would think see that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's probably a little bit different from us being out there and playing, I suppose. You know, I, I get a bit frustrated out there at times. It's probably not a good look, but, 
you know, it's a tough job. It's a tough job what they do, and they can't get every call right. And um, yeah, it's got a bit of social media about it and all that. It's, um, after the game, but yeah, no, it's good that he's just wants a fair share of calls, I suppose. Jeff, just before they run out on grand final day, what happens? Do you give a big speech, or is it just walk around one-on-one? I, I could, but I couldn't guarantee they'll listen to me. But uh, look, um, you don't. Uh, things are done and dusted by the time the game, the you know, the five-minute or the two-minute bell goes. So um, they're prepared. But we'll be, we'll, we will be prepared, and um, we'll give it a fair shake. Any uh, good luck messages from Desi? No. <laughs> 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 I haven't, haven't spoken to Des, but I'm sure, I'm sure he's wishing us all well. He's got a lot of close friends and relationships over here, and, and I'm sure he's, he's, he's cheering for us. Tuz, can you talk to us about the impact that Anthony Watmo's had over his bonds here? Playing on the charity? I think this has been um, Anthony's uh, best year, personally. Um, he, he's been hampered. Uh, with the leg, leg injury that he, he suffered um, probably about six weeks ago. And that's, that's contained him a little bit. Uh, but, geez, he's had a great year. Do you think World Cup selection is in the back of uh, your players' minds? Uh, no, no, not at all. I think they, um, they know that there's a, a job at hand. And um, the, the, the better they go on Sunday, the, the better their performance, the more chance they are of being selected in whatever team they are selected in, whether that be you know, Tonga or Samoa or Ireland or whoever. So, um, you know, we're, we're just focusing on, on the grand final. So you, I know you worked there in 2011, but this team's made a full grand final in the years and won the first shot since you're in the video. What's the special thing about Manly? Is it the, uh, the improvements you've played there and the culture to the community and the momentum? All of the above. I mean, the culture's second to none. Um, all the boys have got a, we've got a great tight-knit group um, over there and I think... Um, Everyone's all on board with the determination and um, and will to sort of strive to our best and play at our best. And we all know when we're not doing that, and we all push each other for that next level. And is the fact that um, most of the Manly team do have a premiership under their belt, is that give an edge at all? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I don't know how many of us had um, premiership uh, experience under our belt in 08. Like, I know they lost the game, but. Um, like winning, not what knowing what it took to win. I don't know how many had that experience. So I mean, it's a new new team anyway, new team dynamic, and um, I think everyone will just be out there to give their best, and that's all we can ask for.